If you're going on a cruise, you might be wondering how do you keep your items and belongings safe both on the cruise ship and in port. In this video, I'm going to share with you the actionable things that you can do to make sure that your items are safe and secure. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifeboatcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, one of the questions that I'm asked on occasion, both in the comments and by email, is how do you keep your items safe and secure on a cruise ship? Whether it's designer bags, whether it's your jewelry, whether it's your cash, whether it's items when you're on a beach, how do you do it? So in this video, I'm gonna share with you the real things that I do as well as other cruisers do to keep their items safe and secure so that you do not have to worry during your cruise. Now, before I get started, I did wanna mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one, consider leaving some of your most precious items at home. So if you have your grandmother's heirloom diamond ring, for instance, maybe don't bring that onto the cruise, just in case, because things can get lost. If you have a Rolex watch, maybe you don't need to bring this onto your cruise. Now, of course you still can, there are ways to keep your items secure, but before you even bring these items and think about how to secure them, you'll want to think about what you can leave at home. Now, of course, if you do bring these items, I am going to share with you how you can store these safely and securely in your cabin, even beyond the cabin safe, but that will be coming up shortly. Never bring your wallet around with you on the cruise ship. There is absolutely no reason to do this when you're on a cruise ship. It is really a cashless type of vacation. So you have your cruise card and your cruise card is going to act as a little bit of a credit card almost. It's going to be your room card, but also any transactions that you make on the cruise, anything that you do purchase is all going to go on your cruise account. Now, one of the ways that you could avoid maybe spending money, even having cash on a cruise is consider prepaying whatever you can before your cruise. So you can prepay your tips, you can prepay your excursions. That is one way to kind of avoid having more cash with you on your cruise. Designer bags. Now, I really didn't want to hold back here. A lot of times people ask me, if you have any designer bags, what do you do with them? Do you feel comfortable bringing them on a cruise? I have felt comfortable bringing my, a couple of my designer bags on a cruise. However, I am cautious. One of the things that I do is when flying to my cruise terminal or my cruise port, I make sure that any designer bags are with me so that they're in a carry-on bag. And as well, when I am boarding the cruise ship, any designer bags that I might have are really in my carry-on bag or I am holding them. Now, of course, there is no reason to bring your designer bags on a cruise, but if you're like me, sometimes you just enjoy wearing a nice clutch in the evening time. And if you do have it, well, well, sometimes we want to be able to wear these things on occasion. So personally, I do bring mine. Now, if your designer bags are small enough, you can put them in the safe. However, if there isn't room in the safe, and oftentimes there isn't, there are other ways that you can secure your items in your cruise ship cabin. So whether it's your designer bags or other valuables, so for instance, maybe you have a laptop, maybe you have other items, a camera, a GoPro, you have some different items that are worth a certain amount of money and you do not want them to be stolen on the cruise ship, try to leave them safe and secure in your cruise ship cabin. So of course you're safe, but beyond that, a tip or a trick that you can use is that you can actually use your luggage and you can store them in your luggage, let's say under the bed or in the closet. Now, what I do suggest is that you get a little TSA approved lock. You can lock that luggage up. Uh, you might have some luggage where you have a combination lock that is on it, so that can work as well. Now, personally, I don't really worry about the cabin attendants. I have no reason to think that they are not honest. However, I have seen cabin attendants leave a cabin door open while they go into another cabin and they're cleaning or vacuuming. So that is a little bit of a concern for me. So one thing, whether or not you lock your items up or even that you just put them into a cupboard that is closed, make sure that nothing that is valuable is just out in plain view. Now, when it comes to keeping your belongings safe and secure, either on the pool deck or on excursions, there are a few things that you can do. Now, we'll start with the pool deck and then we'll go on to excursions in just a minute. That is one area that you probably do want to be a little bit more careful. So starting with the pool deck, what you'll wanna do is make sure that you do bring some sort of beach bag or a backpack. 
Now, if you are concerned, even when you're on the cruise ship, you can actually get a little lock and you can put it on your backpack. So if you think you do have any items that are of value, then you can lock those items up in your backpack. Now, when it comes to the cruise ship pool deck, I would still try to keep everything of value in your cabin, but it may happen that you have your phone or maybe you have a GoPro, or maybe you do have even an iPad or a Kindle. You have some different items with you and you do wanna keep them secure. So some things that you can do is have a beach bag. Make sure that your beach bag is maybe close by to the pool if you do go into the pool. Usually that's something that I do and I don't really worry about it too much. However, what some people will do, and you can use this on excursions as well, is you can have a backpack and you can buy a little lock. So that same TSA approved style lock, you can use that lock on your backpack as well. And of course, if you have a tote bag, that will work too. Now, by the way, we talked about not having to keep cash with you when you're going about the cruise ship, but some people do like to keep a few dollar bills for tips. If you wanna do that, just keep you know about $10 or so with you. Just don't keep any big bills. Now, something that a lot of people will do is if they do have a beach bag on their chair, they may just cover up that beach bag with a towel. It would take a little bit more work for somebody to take a towel off or to take your flip-flops off or anything like that. Now, what is potentially a bigger problem is when you get off the cruise ship and you might go to a beach where there are thousands and thousands of people and you don't have that relative security of the cruise ship. So that is definitely a time that you do want to be a little bit more cautious and you may want to invest in a few kind of cruise accessories that can help. So for ladies, something that I strongly advise is first of all, leave your designer bags, your designer totes, any of those open bags, leave them on the cruise ship and consider bringing a slash proof crossbody travel on or that style bag. Consider bringing that for your cruise ports of call for any excursions where you may be in a crowded environment. Now, when it comes to men, make sure that you're always keeping your wallet in your front pocket and that you keep your hand right on it. The other thing that you might wanna bring is a waist pouch, so sort of like a money belt. That is something also that really is worth investing in. Now, when it comes to jewelry, leave that on the cruise ship. Make sure that is safe and secure in your cruise ship safe. And when you are getting off the cruise ship, sometimes people ask about a passport. Now, unless it is required that I bring off my passport, so if that is a requirement by the country that we are visiting, then I do not bring my passport off the cruise ship. I keep that in my safe. And what I do bring is my government ID. Now, please let me know if you've been on a cruise before. Do you bring your passport? Do you not bring it? I feel more concerned about the idea that I may lose my passport, that it can get stolen, and the difficulty than that can cause. I feel like there's more risk to that than if I did need my passport. Now, something that I do is I do take a photo of my passport, so I always have that information with me if I did need it. Now, some travel accessories that are very, very handy, both on the cruise ship, but I'd say especially if you are on any of the beaches, if you're on any excursions like that is a lockbox safe. So that is something that a lot of people who cruise are saying that they really like to use. You can lock that up with a little combination lock and you can keep your credit card, any cash that you have, anything that is more valuable, maybe even a phone, you can keep that in your lockbox safe and you can tether that to one of the beach chairs. Now, another item that you might wanna use, especially if you are going to the beach or on any water type excursions is a waterproof waist pouch. So of course it has a clip so it can fit just anybody. And then what you can do is maybe you can keep the items. If you do bring a passport, you could have it in there. Of course, credit card, phone, any of those items, you can put that right into your waterproof waist pouch. A lot of people swear by this for snorkeling. Now what I use, and you can tell it really is well used, is I use a waterproof phone pouch on a lanyard. So I'm able to put my phone in here, so it's very handy. I can actually take videos, take photos while I'm in a lazy river or while I'm at Dunn's River Falls, anything like that. I really like that. I can put my cruise card in here, even a little bit of money. I can keep all of that right on my neck 
or even wrapped around my wrist and it is just perfect. By the way, any of the items that I mentioned in this video, I will leave them linked down in the description below this video. Now, in some cases, when you do go on excursions, you're going to be able to put your items, well, you're gonna be able to put them in a locker. So for instance, if you're on one of the private islands, like at Coco Cay, they have a locker. So if you're doing any of the water slides, you don't really have to worry about it. You could put them in a free locker. Uh, when we were at Duns River Falls on a recent excursion, there were some lockers that were available there as well, though there was an extra cost. And in many cases, when you go on an excursion, they will allow you to leave your bags secure in a bus. So if you feel comfortable with that, you can keep your less valuable items in the bus. Now, when it comes to your luggage, you're going to want to do a couple of things. Firstly, you're going to want to make sure that your luggage is properly tagged, both for getting on the cruise ship and for getting off the cruise ship if you are doing traditional disembarkation. Now it's very important just like when you are flying that you want to make sure that you have any of your valuables in your carry-on bag. You want to make sure that you do the same thing when you are boarding the cruise ship. So some of the things that are really important to have in your carry-on bag of course are any valuables, any jewelry, any electronics, but you'll also want to make sure that you have any cash with you. I like to bring two credit cards so one credit card could stay on the cruise ship if we are out in a cruise port and one credit card could go with us. Now of course there is a little more that you want to pack in your carry-on bag than that so I am going to leave a video right after this one that's all about what you want to pack in your carry-on bag for embarkation day so make sure if you have not seen that yet to watch that next. Now I'd love to hear from you what are any of the questions that you might have about keeping your items safe or if you've been on a cruise before, how have you kept your items safe? Have you had any experiences? Please let me know any of your tips down below in the comments of this video. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.